what it is to our Super Disky fans. For those of you that, uh, well, are seeing 2015 come to a close and look forward to a 2016 that has plenty in the way of APSA Premiership action and goals that are very much click click bangers, we thought the best thing to do is to look back at the start, the first three months of the 2015-16 season. Look at the very best goals that the APSA Premiership has given us so far. And in getting things started, we look at number 10. And it's not every day that we speak of the best goals in almost half a season and a header comes into the conversation. But Nathan Pulsar started this season on fire for ISK Town. Not only did he lead them to uh, glory in the MTN8 at the very first cup competition of the season, he did so in some style, scoring goals and up until the midpoint of September, maintaining a 100% record. Here he is with one of the best headers you'll ever see this season anywhere in the world, never mind the Apps Premiership. Also, <laughs> Oh, what a header! Oh, what a header! Quality in execution, and it's right back in it. 100% record maintained every day so far this season by Paul So when he's on the field. These day stars have made it a habit of unearthing some talent, not only within the borders of South Africa and beyond. You remember Dove Wome came out into the Absa Premiership at these day stars, and during his time there, he was not only entertaining, he scored some goals that saw him move on to a Gauteng club. Uh, while well, the same goes for men like Manuele and their latest discovery in the way of talent that's looking to shake things up in the Absa Premiership, that is Kamaldina Brau, snatched up by the defending champion, somewhat controversially, some might say. But, well, once he started finding his groove in scoring goals, he made sure he did it in some style for the mighty Amakos. Here is Metsolonyane, Shabalala. A brow with an effort, great goal! Snap effort from Kamaldin Abrao. Kaiser Chiefs have another man who's uh, shaking things up in scoring goals and maybe not scoring at the alarming rate at which he was doing so maybe three, four years ago. But Bernard Parker is not only assisting goals in one particular afternoon out in uh, Bloemfontein in the Free State capital, he came up against Bloemfontein Celtic in the MTN8 semi final. And after Pelembe had scored the opener in smashing style, Bernard Parker showed that he may not score as regularly, but he sure got that fire when he does light up the back of the net. Out at Orlando Paris, they've had plenty of talent that has shook up not only the Afsa Premiership, maybe not in the way they wanted to, but they certainly have shaken up the African continent over the last few years. And one man who, while had a killer touch in the way of skills and thrills, has added a killer blow in the way of, uh, well, the end product, finding the back of the net from range. And Pomagula doing it not only for Orlando Pirates, for Sheikh's Mashaba's Bafana Bafana, his uh, click click bangers have come into good effect as well. A bit of the physical stuff. Mabola loses one, finds the space. Mabola! Lights it up! Absolutely lights it up and settles it quite possibly. Mentioned earlier that out at Feast Day Stars, they've made it a habit over the years to find some talent on the continent and within the borders of South Africa. Well, this season they've gone beyond the borders of Africa, never mind just South Africa. Gone out to a nation that's given us the likes of Romelu Lukaku and many others in uh, Belgian stars that have rocked the world and rocked Europe at the highest level. I'm talking Eden Hazard country. And that, of course, is Andrea Felicia out at uh, Feast Day Stars, a man from Belgium who's banging them in on a daily. Outside Orlando Paris, they have a young man that I refer to as old school. He's got that old school swag and just the touch on the ball and how he brings the fans to life out in the stands. He's also found an end product in goals from range that match the likes of Magola. I'm speaking about Tabo Rachael who's smashing them in and shaking up not only the Absa Premiership but the CAF Confederations Cup as well. And it's been a great scoring nick for Orlando Pirates in the early stages of the season. Here is old school.
defensive clearance isn't the very best. The shot is the very best. Rachel in hot scoring form. Fires one in. Mozambican international Halde Pelembe was hoping to arrive at the land of Pirates and do like his namesake in uh, Elias Pelembe had done in years gone by after Super Sport United and the Mamilodi Sundowns and shaking things up but from a goal scoring point of view as he is a true goal scorer at international level. He couldn't quite rock that uh, Buccaneers ship as he wished in his time out in Soweto with the Giants of course but upon his arrival out in Bloemfontein he announced and introduced himself to the Bloemfontein Celtic faithful in the best of ways on a banging, a click click banging day along with Bernard Parker. Togolese international Dobe Warm is amongst a good number of Togolese players and internationals that have come through and well added value, true value to the Apps Premiership and the quality of playing that we have seen. He's also added a special touch in the quality of goals we've seen in the Apps Premiership as Dobe Warm over the years. His opening goal this season was at a special place, the home of the defending champions, Kaiser Chiefs, at the FNB Stadium. Here is Dobe Warm doing what Dobe Warm has done down in South Africa for the last few years. Time you see it, it's extremely late and yep. chances are it's moving at pace. Pena gets up well, header. Well, not yet properly. Wame, click, click, bang. Put Super Sport United into the lead with a wonder strike. First of the season. Over the years, South African football has been a family affair. You can think of Mutaum Senior and Junior, Kumalo Senior and Junior, Mtawalis Senior and Junior. Let's not forget the Sono family as well in Chomosono, along with his son Pamoza, that have rocked things and ensured that they contribute in that part of a family tree to South African football. Well, Isaac Shai has given back. His young son, by the name of Siabulela, has shown promise for the last few years. He's finding his feet, finding goals in the most spectacular ways. Uh, alongside some teammates that are rather entertaining in an entertaining Chipper United side down in Port Elizabeth. How's this go? As the Chiefs captain Spiro Shabalala seems to save his best moments for the best stage in South African football or in as far as South African football goes. You'll remember it started way back at the 2010 FIFA World Cup, Africa's World Cup, when Shaba scored the opener in standing style in the south end of the uh, stadium. That was the opening goal of that World Cup that saw him up against the best goals in the world a year later at the Ballon d'Or Awards. Shaba's done it again. Early stages of this season, he scored an absolute cracker where else but the FNB Stadium and set the tone in the quality of goals we're looking for in the APSA Premiership in one of the best goals you'll ever see, ever see in the APSA Premiership. Here is Shaba. Now, oh, ho, ho. what an effort that is. On the same ground where, of course, he thrilled the world at the start of the World Cup in 2010. So, Super Disky supporters, you've seen them all. The best goals in only the opening three months, keep in mind, of the 2015-16 APSA Premiership season. We expect plenty more here down south, where, of course, when they ask you, what is it about football down south, we say it's Super Disky. And not only that, it comes along with a few click-click bangers to remind us that the football doesn't end. And, of course, it is the goals that keep the world, the Super Disky world, spinning.